Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target Loot today for October 20th. The series that shows you the Target Loot map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider pressing those subscribe and like buttons below. In the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord and clan and support my channel, but the best way really is to just watch my video to the end, but we'll cover that and more at the end of the video. Let's get started with the DZ first and the highlights from the vendors this week, DC, and then New York City Target Alu highlights last. Alright, first off, this is the daily reminder for your weekly SHD requisition, so you want to definitely do this for sure and grab that exotic cash because that is really important to make sure that you get all the exotics you know what I mean and if you don't have all the exotics or you already do then you can at least get exotic components if you need them for whatever reason and we're gonna be having the summit weekly where you can get an exotic cash so that's now three ways to get an exotic cash and you can do that on all four characters so complete the summit on any difficulty floors 1 to 100 and then you get an exotic cash and a named item all right agents well now we're over here in dz west so this is something i've been waiting for for a while submachine guns target to loot in the dark zone west now you can get the dark winner with perfect killer and you can get the apartment with perfectly measured those are two dz exclusives that today is the best day to farm for i would highly recommend it i have so many builds with the dark winner and the apartment they're amazing SMGs. I would highly recommend farming them today in the DZ West. All right, agents, we're over here in DZ South. We do have holsters. Now, you got the Anarchist Cookbook at the vendor. That's not something I really, you know, recommend getting. Otherwise, holsters, you can get the Claws Out holster. That gives you 500% melee damage and 10% extra pistol damage. And then finally in DZ East, we got Petrol Defense. I mean, you got the Black Friday at the DZ East vendor if you guys want to pick that up. Otherwise, there's no DZ exclusive for Petrol Defense. So let's move on to the North Side Target Loot Highlights. All right, agents, now we're over here on the North Side Target Loot Highlights. And for invaded missions, we got Camp White Oak, we got DCD HQ, of course, Jefferson Trade Center, Manning National Zoo, and then eventually Tidal Base and Stronghold. As far as targeted loot, we got DNH at Camp White Oak, so that's the Punch Drunk Mask that gives you 20% extra headshot damage baked right into it. I also see Overlord at the Amusement Park, so you can get the Fox's Prayer Knee Pads, which give you 8% damage to targets out of cover. That's multiplicative damage, the best damage in this game. Grupo Sombra at Manning National Zoo, of course, one piece DPS builds, two pieces skill explosives damage builds. And then finally, the summit. Now, I turned this on to Hunter's Fury to test this out the first 10 floors. I gotta say, solo players are screwed from what I've experienced. I put on five directives on Heroic. I ran floors like 1 to 10. I selected my target of loot as Hunter's Fury. And I only got one Hunter's Fury piece to drop in 10 floors. It was ridiculous. With five directives on too. Now, Hunter's Fury, I got multiple build videos for that. In the top right card, I'll put one right now. Otherwise, of course, you can farm Hunter's Fury if you need it. It's an amazing DPS set. And I'm, I've rolled them all with armor too. And it's also an amazing DPS set that is a hybrid DPS as well. If you want to farm that. All right, let's go check out the West Side Target Loot highlights. All right, agents, we're over here on the West Side Target Loot highlights. Now, we got this whole new system of gear sets like you've been seeing before. You know, Foundry Bulwark, a Federal Emergency Bunker. So, of course, Foundry Bulwark's an armor region build, a tank build, if you want to farm for that. I do not know if you can get the chest and backpack pieces now, but I'm pretty sure they're still raid exclusives. And then System Corruption is one other gear set you cannot farm in the DC and NYC areas because it's a DZ exclusive. I see Sokolo Concern at Bank HQ, so anyone that's running an SMG build, you know, I have many SMG builds myself. I always like to run Sokolo Concern 3-piece or at least 1-piece for that 10% SMG damage. Usually want a chest piece with Intimidate or Obliterate and a backpack with Adrenaline Rush, maybe even Vigilance. You got Badger Tough at Potomac Event Center, you can get the 0F's chest piece with Perfect Unbreakable. Amazing chest piece for sure. I, I've run that all through TU-10 to TU-11. 
Of course, Hardwired and Foggy Bottom is good. Usually three pieces with two piece Wyvernware, one piece on a U for a turret drone build. That's definitely worth farming for if you haven't gotten the hardware yet. We got Walker Harrison Co. at Roosevelt Island, so you can get the Chain Killer with Perfect Headhunter chest piece for that only headshot build you can really make in the game. And then the Matador can drop from target to loot rewards. You can of course run this on Legendary to try to get the best rolls possible. Then we got Hana Yu with Lincoln Memorial, so the Force Multiplier Backpack with Perfect and Vine Arms. I would highly recommend farming this because I believe the Force Multiplier Backpack is in the DZ West vendor this week or the White House or something, but it's rolled with like repair skills and crit hit chance. So I would highly recommend just farming Lincoln Memorial today or choosing Summit Target Elude as Hana Yu. We got Hunter's Fury over here in DARPA Research Labs instead of over in the Summit the way I picked it. You know, if you're looking for Hunter's Fury, you can grab it here if you need like a maxed out piece or something. And then Araldo Holdings at the Pentagon, so that's always great with a headshot build that goes with a perfect headhunter build. Always try to get weapon damage, headshot damage, and weapon handling on it. That's the best way I do it. Just so you know, you reload faster and have an easier time getting those headshots with the weapon handling. It does help with like the scope sway and the, um, you know, the reloading and just the overall the handling of the weapon. Then you got rifles at Tidal Basin, so of course you can get the Diamondback and Merciless Exotics, and then you can get the Classic M1A. Best damage talents on that is of course Rifleman, Ranger, and Boomerang. And yeah, that's about it for the west side. Let's go check out the east side Target Loot highlights, and then New York City. Alright agents, we're over here on the east side Target Loot highlights. First off, I see Providence Defense, so if you want to get the Sacrifice with Perfect Glass Cannon, you can go ahead and grab that. That would be the named chest piece in the light zone that you can get in Providence Defense. Otherwise, try to find the best rolls possible on Heroic. You got LMGs at DUA today, so you can get the Exotic Bullet King and Pestilence. Or you can get a named LMG like the Carnage, the Slepner, the Good Times, the New Reliable, the Quiet Roar. There's all sorts of them. Negotiator's Dilemma, Judiciary Square. We got Tip of the Spear, Future Initiative, True Patriot, and Ongoing Directive on the east sides. I do have a new True Patriot build coming pretty soon, but I have another one. I'll put in the top right card right now. This is an amazing DPS hybrid set. If you haven't checked it out, I would highly recommend checking that out. We got Fenris at Capitol Building if you want to run that on Legendary and try to get the best rolls possible. Shotguns at Viewpoint Museum, that's the Sweet Dreams exotic shotgun and the best three shotguns in the game. The Mop with 10% armor on kill, Custom M870, and the Marine Super 90. Gear System mods at Jefferson Trade Center, you can get that for maxed out 12% crit at damage mods or 6% crit at chance mods. Run that on Heroic and usually they drop or, you know, here and there, but they'll drop eventually and then yeah that looks about it for the east side let's go check out new york city target Alu highlights and i will let you agents go all right agents we're over here on the new york city target Alu highlights so first off the gear sets is aces and eights and eclipse protocol at two bridges and financial district respectively we do got knee pads at stranded tanker so that's the ninja bike messenger knee pads sawyer's knee pads and of course the fox's prayer knee pads although i recommend farming overlord for the fox's prayer the other two just farm knee pads we got alp summit at the tombs you can get the percussive maintenance with perfect tech support but i believe that should be on a wyvernware hana u piece so of course i would recommend a chest piece with empathetic resolve for a healer build Bellstone Armory at Civic Center. You can get the Everyday Carrier with Perfectly Efficient. It's an Armor Region brand set that came with TU-11 if you just need a good piece of it. And then of course you can get the Liquid Engineer with Perfect Bloodsucker. I believe it comes from Target Loot Rewards. It will not drop from an NPC. We got Mass at Pathway Park. You can get the Coyote's Mask, the Vial Mask, and the Punch Drunk Mask. But farm Douglas and Harding for the Punch Drunk Mask for sure. And then finally, we got Assault Rifles at Battery Park, so you can get the Exotic Chameleon, the named uh, Assault Rifles like the Burnout named FAMAS, the Maniac named Military AKM, the Mechanical Animal Future Perfection, or you can get the best Assault Rifles in the game, which is the FAMAS, the Military AKM, the Carbine 7, the Police M4, and the G36. And actually, this one's lastly chess pieces at Wall Street. You can go ahead and farm for the Tardigrade Armor Exotic Chess Piece. And yeah, that's about it, you know, for the New York City Target Alu highlights. 
All right, agents. Well, that was the target of loot for today, October 20th. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content. If you would like to become a member for support and exclusive perks, click the join button below to further support my dream of being a full-time content creator. Or you can grab some Shadow Gaming merchandise. I just added a bunch of new designs and cool stuff to buy and my wife's actually working on some designs as well. I lowered the prices across the board for every item in my store and I have a promo code for free shipping until October 24th. That's an $8 savings, so if you want to order some merch, now until the 24th is the best time. That promo code is SHADOW99. You can also support me on all tech like Patreon Subscribestar, but really if you're still watching this video right now to the end, thank you. That is truly the best way to support me and of course whitelist me on your ad blocker. Take care agents and be sure to stay tuned for more daily dedicated Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in my next video. Take care agents.